Good afternoon, Mill High School. Happy Sunday. I hope you've had an awesome weekend. I know that uh, we actually are now finally getting some fall weather after some pretty yucky weather on Friday. But uh, nonetheless, hope you've had a good weekend, ready for a new week. Uh, lots to share with you, a lot to celebrate in and around our school and school community. And uh, so let me let me dive in. So our schedule for the week, um, we are in, I've always said as principal, one of the most difficult stretches of the school year um, is October. We get into a stretch where we don't have a lot of days off between now and Thanksgiving break. And um, so we, we began, began that stretch last week and uh, dive into a stretch of five day weeks here uh, beginning tomorrow. So tomorrow is a gold day and um, have a nice little rotation to settle into over the next couple of weeks. Want to um, stop for a second and slow down and talk to students and parents and staffs about um, really two things that are going to be a little new, um, but positive additions and supports to our students and our staff in regards to COVID mitigation. So if you've paid attention recently to board meetings, uh, you've probably noted conversation in and around test to stay and test to play. Uh, test to stay will actually begin tomorrow for students and staff. And what that will, in, what that will uh, entail is an opportunity, an optional opportunity for students or staff that are deemed close contact to a positive COVID case to endure daily testing and to be able to return to work or school each day without missing any time from work or from coming to class, which is a great opportunity. So here on the screen you see below, you see some information. You also see a very helpful video. So I would encourage families to watch that video. Uh, it's simple, but it has a lot of information uh, and we'll get that started and we'll be working with our, our leadership team and our school nurse and make sure that students and families understand that um, when and if you might need to. Also, test and test to play uh, will be starting in early November. Uh, we're still waiting on some clarification and details and logistical things on that. Uh, but it's also included in this video. So again, I challenge and encourage all families to watch that. Uh, so you're keeping up with our COVID mitigation in and around Mill High School. Fortunately, our numbers have gotten better. Changing gears a good bit. Uh, I want to pass this along to students, uh, to parents, to guardians, to families. Uh, information in regards to peer tutoring and ESS. Um, both of those are now up and running. Uh, so I have a couple of links here for you to check that out. At the end of the day, if your student is struggling in a class or multiple classes, we want to get them help. And so there's some different ways that we can do this. This comes under our counseling office, um, but essentially they will be connecting our Bulldogs to peer tutors, uh, to ESS teachers, to make sure that we're helping um, to recover grades, to master content, and make sure that students are staying on track academically uh, as we navigate this in-person school year uh, that we haven't done in a while. Also want to remind our community, our eighth grade open house, November 18th, 6 to 8 p.m. Really excited about that. Our counseling newsletter for the week is shared right here for you. Counselors continue to do a great job making sure our students and families uh, get all the information that they need. Last week, I shared ACT information once again. ACT was one of those things during COVID. Um, it didn't get completely put on the back burner, but it certainly didn't get the focus that it has in years past or it should have. So trying to make sure that we really bring that back. Want to remind juniors, not too early to put this in your calendar, you will be taking the ACT as a class in school on March the 8th. That will be here before we know it. There is also a link here to act.org, very, inf very informative site. Um, make sure to maybe click on that and bookmark that. And the national test dates, the, those are the Saturday dates, if you will, uh, those are included for you. Very important reminder from our PTSA, we will be doing senior tux and drape pictures for any senior that hasn't gotten a chance to take their tux or drape picture that will be in the yearbook. They can, they can do that this Wednesday at school during the school day and underclassmen that choose to retake their underclassmen yearbook picture. There's some information here about doing that. Going to end with lots of athletic information, tons of information and student shout outs for the week. Tons of things went on this weekend in a positive way in and around Mel High School and our school community. So I want to thank you for all of that. Students, let's uh, let's get back at it this week. We have one week before mail manual week. I challenged you last week. 
for us to put some difficult things behind us so we could move on and have a more traditional, I'm not going to use the word normal, a more traditional mail manual week. So I'm, I'm challenging you to continue that um, by sweating the small stuff, putting to bed uh, so some of the issues that we've had the first few weeks. But you have done a great job. Things have certainly improved and we want to keep that going. And um, that last week of October, celebrate as a school and school community um, as we take on that other school. So let's make it a great week. Take care of yourselves. Stay well. And we'll see you bright and early in the morning.